Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and Blender Sculpting is about to get a powerful new ability, something called VDM, or Vector Displacement Maps. Now these are very popular in the world of ZBrush, which is, by the way, the world's most popular sculpting application, so it is something that you want to be aware of. You can see it in action right here. I'll show you how this works in just a second, but basically a VDM map is like a height map that has three dimensions of data instead of just the traditional, you know, height. Uh, data. And what this allows you to do is have um, these meshes, these displacement meshes that actually have overhangs. So this would have been impossible with a height map. So it allows you to do some really cool sculpting ma um, techniques using these maps for displacement. So this was proposed a number of days back, but the coolest news is as of just a couple of hours ago, the patch was approved. So this means this is in fact coming to Blender, specifically Blender 3.5 beta or alpha, whatever we're at at that point in time. And that's where you're going to have to go ahead and get it. We'll come back to this in just a few minutes. I'll show you how you can actually uh, set this up. Uh, but first, I'm just going to demonstrate how it works. So you can see I've already downloaded the two demo files. I'll show you these in just a minute where you can get them. And I've got a new version of Blender. I actually moved these demo files in with Blender, so it makes it easy for me to do this. So the first thing we've got is this test application. And it shows it in action. I'm just going to open up in Blender. And what this has is a map has been defined. So if you come up here to the texture, you're going to notice there's this new new checkbox here for vector displacement. You enable that, you enable VDM maps. Now VDM maps are, again, textures. You can see a texture that is defined right here. This is a VDM map. I'll show you how to go ahead and create one of these in just a minute. But basically think of it as a three-dimensional height map, and then you can draw it on surfaces using the draw brush. So there you see this neat little hook effect. It's that simple to create using these objects. So that is how this process will work. It's basically drawing with a three-dimensional displacement texture on your sculpting surface. Uh, but now you're going to need to actually go ahead and create these VDM maps. And how do you do that? Well, it's very easy in uh, um, ZBrush. So if you have ZBrush, you can export these textures out from ZBrush and use them in Blender. But that's probably not the workflow you want to go with. So what you want to do is go ahead and download that other example, the VDM baking setup, and then just open that up in Blender. Now, this is a special version of Blender. Uh, this is a patch version of 3.5. I will show you how you can go ahead and grab that in a second. But you can see this is that VDM. This is the sculpt that he started from a grid uh, and then basically created this sculpt. And this is the baking material to actually get this to come out. So what I'm going to do is I'll delete his and we'll start from scratch. So we're going to go ahead and add a mesh of type plane, like so. And then we're going to add a modifier to it of type multi-res like so, and we'll subdivide it a couple, oops, I did not want to subdivide it uh, that way. All right, that was my bad. What I want to do is add a mesh of type grid. All right, so that was my issue. And I'm going to take this guy again, and I'll add the multi-resolution, and I will subdivide it a couple of times. All right, there we go. So here is our base sculpting surface. Uh, we're going to switch over here to the mesh view here. And what you do is basically set up that baking hookup that we had earlier on. Now, another thing you're going to do, and you're going to probably get tripped up on this, is you need to give it a bake target. And that is what this image texture over here is for. But what you actually do is go ahead and create one. You can name it, uh, uh, I'll call it Get Baked right here. And another thing you're going to do, because we're going to encode these as, as um, EXR files. So let's make this one 512 by 512. That is the recommended size to keep it from being an insanely long render. And we'll click OK. So now what all you need to do is basically pick the objects you wish to create. So I'm going to go here into Sculpt uh, and we can, you know, create some spikes. So let's say we were creating a hedgehog. All right. So that is our. Uh, our map that we want to start with. So this is what we can actually paint with in 3D when we sculpt later on. So now what we need to do is bake this guy. Now, the nice thing is this guy is set up for it already. So all of this stuff you do, you just come on down here to the bake section and you click bake. And I think you want to click bake from multi-res. And we'll go ahead and press that guy. And then you see here from the image view, we're going to go ahead and select get baked. And we will let this guy bake. Now, that is not the color I want. I think I screwed that up. I don't want bake from multi-res. No, you don't want that. So turn that off. There you go. So this is more of what you want. This is the encoding you want. So do not bake from multi-res, bake from the other one. So here is our end result. And now what we want to do is save this guy out. Now, the key thing here is you're going to want to save this guy as an EXR file. So come down here, PNG. 
switch it to open EXR. I did RGB A. Uh, we'll give this get baked. Okay, we'll save this in the downloads folder like so, and we will save our image. So there it is now in place. We've created our own VDM. Uh, so anything you want to sculpt, you can create it that way. It creates a rather simple map for you over here. And inside of this, in the color information, is 3D uh, color. So if I actually had it overlapped like this, so we actually had overlapping, it will work right, and you can create some things that you could not have created with a height map from before. All right, so with that done, we're going to head on over back to our model here, uh, and let's go ahead and change out our sculpting. So we're going to go here with the, um, the sphere selected here. Uh, we will go over to the materials on this guy, uh, and we will create a new material. So texture 01, get rid of that guy, open it up, and we will open up our get baked. All right, so there is our new map available. So now you'll notice with the two materials applied to this object, when we go into sculpting, you can go to texture now and you can pick your other one. And now, boom, you can paint spikes on your surface. It's it's a really powerful new capability uh, for Blender. Again, you could use this to create um, all kinds of shapes. The, the demos that they showed on the guy, the original authors, is like um, ears. Uh, he, he created, like, sculpted out these 3D ears. You can stretch them. So if you're doing something like a rabbit ear, a uh, very simple process. But here you can see uh, normal spikes. And again, the cool thing about a VDM map is since it's 3D, it can do things like what you saw here. So it can actually overlap itself, which is something that a height map could never do. So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you can create a VDM. Uh, and that is how VDMs work in Blender. So this is part of Blender 3.51. As I said, I'll show you how to get all of this stuff. Uh, there is this link over on the, um, this is uh, blenderartist.org. Uh, the details of what you want are available here. So you're going to want to download the specific patch version, specifically D17080. Um, and then we're going to want to grab the two blend files. So the, the patch, the specific patch version is this guy right here. Uh, these are special builds of Blender, uh, you know, for... Uh, hopefully to get approved in the future. Now that it has been approved, I do think in the next 3.5 release, it should just be built in so you won't have to get a patch version. But for now, for whatever OS you're on, this is the version of Blender you need to run to get this functionality. Uh, and then in terms of the blend files, they are available here. So the first one here uh, is the test, which is what we showed here, this base guy right here, uh, showing uh, the, with this hook VDM already set up for us. And then this other file right here, this baking one, is another um, rig, this guy right here, already set up for you, so you can go ahead and easily create your own VDM maps. And again, the last bit of um, advice I have to give you is, first off, make sure that you add the texture here or it won't bake correctly. And then the other thing that you really want to do is save this out as an EXR file, so then it has um, the proper range values for RGB encoding, etc., for it. Uh, but once that is done, you can start sculpting to your heart's content and... Uh, it's going to open up a number of neat new options. Again, VDMs have been in ZBrush for a very long time, and it's quite cool that these are now going to be coming to Blender as well. So uh, let me know what you think of uh, this new functionality. It's very cool uh, that the author uh, just got his uh, patch. This patch was just, again, proposed recently. Uh, as of today, it is now officially a thing. So it was approved. It is going to be an official Blender project, uh, and that is pretty awesome. So uh, let me know what you think of this functionality, and I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.